to a study blog where you are always tired in neuroscience uh, tips. Uh, let me repeat it again. A study blog where you are always tired in neuroscience tips. Yes, uh, naturally, our body okay, needs energy because energy is just the source of life. Without energy, we will not be able to really read okay, for long hours. Without energy, we are going to actually find life uh, so uninteresting. Uh, so in order to, to improve our learning okay, and study productivity, there is a need for us to look for ways in order to uh, put our, our body okay, and our brains okay, in that state for, for, a, for um, a creative work. Okay, like studying, okay, uh, thinking, imagination, and others. And how, how do, does a student, okay, do this? I have some tips, okay, that or ideas that I've gathered, okay, as a result of informal research. I've, I've, I have them here, and I strongly believe that these ideas will really help my students all over the world to improve their academic uh, performances. Okay, the first thing I want to really talk about here is this. Please be um be careful of the amount of caffeine coffee that you take for example uh, i'm going to advise you to always take co coffee before then maybe 4 p.m because if you take anything okay beyond that it's going to really delay okay your sleep it's going to really extend okay the time that you fall asleep okay at night and do not forget early to bed okay early to rise so you must be conscious Okay, and careful okay, of the amount of coffee that you take and the time that you have, you take that coffee. Because studies have actually shown that coffee has the capacity of remaining in our body system for for very long, very very long hours, between five to seven hours. And uh, it has the capacity also to do what? To block those receptors that release uh, melatonin, the, the, the chemical that makes us fall okay, asleep. Then one other thing I want to really say is this, uh, please and, and please uh, make sure that maybe in the evening, okay, you don't take alcohol. Okay, if you take alcohol, it's going to really delay, okay, your, the time that you, have, you fall asleep. And if you go to bed late, definitely it's going to really rub off on your energy levels, okay, the next day, okay, the med medical personnel all over the world, Okay, the World Health Organization and, and other agencies that are, that are related to okay, whose responsibility have to do with human health have said that eight to, uh, uh, seven to eight hours of sleep is the prescribed okay, hours for, okay, for, any, for individuals okay, to, to, have, to actually sleep. Then another point that I think is important that you must understand your circadian okay, rhythm. Circadian rhythm has to do with okay, what time of the day okay um or how many hours okay is um or when do i normally read okay the best like i i have a brother okay he's, he's doing his phd now okay my brother likes reading daytime okay anytime you force him to read at night it affects okay his activity okay the next day so you must understand your circadian uh, rhythm. For somebody like me, I am a kind of a nocturnal okay, scholar or, or learner. I, I like with, with reading at night okay, or very early in the morning. But my younger brother is not like that. So you must understand your circadian uh, rhythm and you key into it okay, for optimal uh, performance. The other thing I, want to, I would like to really advise you to do is this. That most of us are just too connected to our, to our smartphones. Please. Okay, when you wake up in the morning, make sure that you do it. You expose yourself, okay, to sunlight. Or if you if you if you live in a kind of climate where the sunlight does not come come out, okay, uh, that the sun does not rise, shines, okay, in the morning, you can if you have uh, maybe gadgets, okay, like uh, like lamps, okay, white lamps, okay, uh, you can actually put them uh, on so that okay, photons can act, can do what can. Uh, have access okay to your to to, to, to your visual uh, system to, to your eyeballs because our eyes are we see through uh, uh, photons uh, so make sure uh, that you maximize okay the power of sunlight or if there is no sunlight like I said make sure that you have uh, the bulbs okay this bright light that you, you that you need to be put on very early in the morning and then the another point that is what uh, stressing here is that. I'm going to really advise you if you don't want to be tired the next day 
okay so that you have enough energy to study to learn is that make sure that you indulge in exercise exercise releases okay uh, neurotrophic factors like the brain derived uh, neurotrophic factor that is responsible for what uh, for learning and memory it it always okay those it, it nourishes okay our neurons especially the concept neurons that that are dedicated uh, to learning and uh, memory and uh, then I uh, let me say make sure that you always go to bed a very early early so that the next day you would wake up okay feeling very energized okay and uh, these are the points that I that I uh, these are the information that I got that I said okay let me share them with my global audience for the fact that you've actually listened to okay you've watched this video I have a special gift for you uh, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that you drop okay a comment and add your email what i will do is that i'll read your comment and i will send you the latest book that i've written okay it is titled uh, top secrets for easing all exams in the world this is my second uh, book so i've written about uh, six uh, books now so i would send that book to you thank you and i shall see you in the next video